No. Porcelain, French. Pots dir? French, porcelain. Ah, French, porcelain. Chinese. Chinese? Chinese. And this is like a working place or the office? Office. Original door. Original doors. And from which year is this place? Which year? Si. Yes. Shaving. Uh, shaving. Mm -hmm. The of Fleming. Holland. Conquistador de Perú. Ceramic, Spanish, 16th century. Czytać? Original door. is this house? 500 500 500 years 500 years Patio Colonial The Garden Colonial Co Colonial Garden, colonial garden. Yes. Ahora. Ahora. 
Very nice. I don't work together. This is the original? Imitation. Imitation. No, no, no. Cuban transport. our first Spanish governor. They turned it, it was there where they originally had a gold mine. And they also, inside, and they also had some offices and first floor for domestic uses. Now they have one of the best colonial art museums in the eastern region of Cuba. They have excellent European and Cuban furniture, paintings, originally coming from that's one of the nicest areas from England, from Spain, and also Cuba, real genuine or genuine Cuban Creole furniture. Then these kind of windows were built like that on purpose to keep some privacy. And inside you will see some of the original tiles, Moorish tiles they used to decorate the house. It's beautiful and it's one of the nicest museums they have in Santiago. Its visit is not included in the tour, so you have to pay, but it's not that expensive. It works its visit. A bank, the oldest, the oldest Cuban cathedral coming from the 16th century. It has been under restoration more than four times and it has been damaged by the effects of earthquakes and fires. That's why you see that it's been newly restored. It was not originally neoclassic as you see now. It, it came with the passing of time. What restoring? According to according to some research, 
Diego Velázquez remains were kept inside that cathedral for a long time. Inside they also have a religious religious museum. And on the ground or basement floor they have boutiques, and stationery shops and that sort of things. Casa Grande Hotel. The one painted in white. If you like to take photos, professional photos, you can get to the top of a building and you will enjoy a beautiful view of Santiago de Cuba seaport and the city. It is beautiful. How do you get? How do you get to the top of that hotel? By the lift or elevator you will find on the corner. So the main entrance is that corner. You will see the steps. You go to the right once you are inside the hotel and you will see the reception. And there they normally charge people with recoverable places per person. And it includes a cocktail per person. So ask that kind of things. How much? Does it include any cocktail? Okay, by the reception. And okay, to the top, there where you see those two rings. That can be a choice if you don't feel like being bothered by locals. Then, people that only care about going shopping. You go to the corner, first of all, that white and blue building that was always the town hall of a city. From the balcony, Fidel Castro delivered his first political speech when he became our president. And now it is the seat of the government. So when you get to the corner of that building, see my finger, please. When you get to the corner, you turn to the left, only one block, to the left, and you will see a non-traffic commercial street. There they have bookstores, cafeterias, they have shops, a handicraft market and that sort of things, okay? Also, not too much damage if you take this street. You better go left corner, turn to the left, one block, and there you will see it, okay?